Take a moment, team. I want you to read the question. I'll give you one minute. One minute. Go from start to finish. Go. Stop. Did you do it? Of course they did. Chris, this is a really quick question. Let's just see how long it takes to read. Let me just get out my timer here. Oh, my phone is off because I don't want it to interrupt. I don't think it's going to take more than 10 seconds to read. 15 seconds. Let's see. Maybe longer. When learning, when learning letter sound correspondence, beginner readers are likely to require the most instruction in decoding which of the following, uh, which of the following, ship, dime, pot, best. I'd say that's about 15 seconds. You notice that this question here is as basic as you're going to get. The question is one sentence, right? The answers are in word form. So you're not having to deal with a, a sentence or a, uh, a phrase. It's a word form. So this is a very basic question, right? Which makes this some of the best ones to study. Notice that it says letter sound correspondence. So in your mind, what do we say? When learning letter sound correspondence or when learning phonics, right? which is letter sound correspondence, beginner readers, and again, in your mind, you're like, like a kindergartner, are likely to acquire the most instruction decoding which of the following types of words. Now, we know that beginner readers in kindergarten, they start with words like these. You know, we have like the CVC words. This is a, a CVC word, right? And it's a, a short vowel, right? Short O. We have words like like this one right here. This one is a, a C V C C, and this is a this has a blend in it, and there's a short vowel there. But this is still a basic word, best very decodable word. We have ship here. This is a, a consonant consonant vowel consonant with a a digraph here, consonant digraph with a short vowel. Again, though, it is a very uh, uh, decodable word once a student has had exposure um, to consonant digraphs and exposure to here uh, uh, consonant blends. So, so these things would be considered, you know, the starter words for a kindergartner as you're doing those basic words, decodable words. So which one would be the hardest? Well, the only one here, the one that would be the hardest would be the one with the long vowel, right? And dime falls under a vowel consonant uh, magic E. This, this type of pattern here we, we see with dime, or you know other words with the magic key like uh, time, or uh, these words with the magic key save. Right, these are words. I'm trying to think of words and I'm blanking right now, but that's okay. Time save dime. They have that magic key component move, which actually is an irregular word, so I won't use it. But time and save and dime, they all have that magic key. Right, this would be something that we'd have to explicitly slow down and be like, you know what? This E is silent and that vowel there, it's not short I, it's long I. And we indicate that by, by putting, if we're doing this, we put a line instead of a upward, an upward facing uh, parabola, instead of an upward facing curve, we put a line over the vowel to indicate that it's a long vowel. Okay, team, the answer here is B. Now look at all the phonics that we're doing. In this basic question on letter sound correspondence, we have incorporated a review of CVC words and CVCC words and CCVC words, right? And diagraphs and, and, and blends. Wow. And, and, and magic E. Team, we're doing a lot of phonics now. I hope you're having fun with this. I hope you're enjoying the review. I remember the first time I was exposed to words like this. Someone said to me, CCV, CC, CC. <laughs> and I did not know what they were talking about. And I was a senior teacher. I was a teacher. Well, I wasn't a senior teacher. I was a new teacher, but I was a teacher that had been teaching for two years and I thought I knew everything. So, so maybe you're in the same spot where some of this stuff is new. So kind of like listen to this video again and kind of see those patterns in these words and, and you'll slowly start to get it. And if you've been around and you've been doing this, just, just enjoy the ride, okay? Remember, everyone has to start someplace, and this is the place to start with phonics, with these basic single-syllable words. We're looking at these phonics patterns in this, these basic decodable single-syllable words. All right, the answer is B, and we got some wonderful review with uh, letter-sound correspondence, constant diagraphs, magic E, 
CVC words, blends. Uh, we talked about closed syllables. These are words like that have a vowel and a consonant. And the vowel is short, like words like cat has that pattern or at or in, right? Or, 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 uh, uh, or let's see uh, here, let me give another one. Or, or bun, or right, or, or, or tin. These are all, all, uh, all words that have that vowel, consonant, closed syllable pattern, which tells you that that vowel is short, okay? We have long vowels with the, uh, with the magic E, vowel, consonant, magic E, where it makes that vowel long. And then we have short vowels,